guys, how's it going? So today's video is a quick tutorial. Um, I just thought I would do a tutorial on how I do my makeup when I'm running late for class. This is a really quick, easy makeup look that only takes about five to six minutes, maybe less, depending on how fast you can go. So if you want to see how I did this look, stay tuned. Okay, so first we're going to start off by taking a tinted moisturizer. I am using Neutrogena's Healthy Skin Enhancer. I've had this for a couple of years now, and this is just whatever I reach to when I'm in a hurry. We're just going to take a little bit, about that much. You can apply more if you need to. We're just going to work it over our skin. Put it under the eyes for a little bit of coverage, and then work it down to our chin. Okay, so next I'm going to take concealer and I am using Maybelline's Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser and you just twist it to get the product on and then you're going to apply it under your eyes into any other problem spots. And then just pat it in. You don't want to rub it but just use patting motions using your ring finger because that has the most stability. Next I'm going to set my makeup and I am using Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. And because it is really dry and really cold out, it really affects my skin. So I just put the powder on the spots where I get oily and where I put my concealer to set my concealer. So I'm just going to put a little bit onto the brush and then I'm just going to apply it where I put my concealer today just to give it a little bit of staying power and put it on my t-zone because I get kind of oily on my t-zone okay next we're going to move on to eyes and I'm going to start off by priming my eyes with Benefit Stay Don't Stray eyeshadow primer I'm just going to put a little bit on my eyelids and then you just pat it in. So for my eyeshadow I'm using Maybelline's eyeshadow quad in um, chai latte and this is the quad that I usually reach for when I'm running low on time because it's just so easy you can just put you know your lid color, your crease color, your eye corner and your highlighter and bam you're all done. Um, so first I'm going to take a flat shader brush like this. I'm using ELF's flat shader brush and I'm going to take this light brown color it says um lid on it which this is why I really like these quads they're just so easy for like beginners to use because it does label where you put your color of course you really don't have to follow that rule but that's kind of just what I do so I'm gonna pack the color onto this brush and then I'm just going to put it pack it onto my lid For your next color, you're going to take a fluffy brush like this. I'm using a brush from Lancome. And I'm going to take this gold, coppery, glittery color right here that says crease on it. And I'm just going to ever so lightly tap my brush into that and then tap off any excess. And then you're just going to run this through your crease using windshield wiper motions just lightly blend that into your crease. So the next step you can skip if you want to but I'm just going to take this dark chocolate color right here and ever so lightly tap my crease brush into it just like that and tap off the excess and I'm going to lightly put this in the corner outer corner of my eye to give my eye a little bit of definition. and just blend it up a little through your crease so next we are going to highlight our brow bone and I'm going to just use the highlighter from this quad and it's not a very good highlighter but it does get the job done it's nice and quick and it's kind of just a satiny white cream color we're just going to run this along the arch of our brows. Okay, so the next step is to line our upper lash line. <clears throat> Ooh, sorry. And you can skip this step if you want, 
I am using e.l.f. liquid eyeliner in brown. You can use black if you want to as well. But I'm going for a more subtle look. So I'm just going to take this. And this brush is a little bit stiffer than other brushes. So we're just going to carefully line our lash line. And we're going to start at the middle and work our way out. And then once we got the middle and outer part um, done, we will go through the, from the inner corner and connect it. So now that our lashes are lined, we are going to take an eyelash curl, and you can skip this step as well. We're just going to curl our lashes. I like to curl my lashes because it does make my eyes look a bit um, wider and more awake. Okay, and then, and then take your favorite mascara. I am using CoverGirl's Lash Blast. And this is the waterproof version. So next, moving on to cheeks, I am just using a very sheer peachy tone blush from my e.l.f. Contouring Quad, and this is the color. And I'm just going to take my blush brush from EcoTools and lightly tap this into my brush, and then tap off any excess. And then I'm just going to smile to find my apples, and I'm going to lightly apply it. And I like this blush because it gives a very subtle color to my cheeks without being too overly done and looking like you're wearing a lot of makeup. And for lips, I am just going to use my favorite pink lip gloss, and that is Revlon's um, Lip Super Luscious Lip Gloss in Pink Pout. I love these lip glosses because they are just so pigmented and creamy, and you really don't need to wear a lipstick under them. Okay, so that is the finished look. It's very simple, very quick. On an ordinary day, if I wasn't taking the time to explain it, it would take me about five, six minutes to get this done, and then I can be out the door to class. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for more tutorials, and I will see you all in a later video. Bye!